Hello and welcome to Central Park Lanes here on Saratoga Toga Street, East Boston, Massachusetts. Our live stream is not working. I am recording this today. This is Bob Lee. It is Sunday morning, May 19th, 10, a, 10 a.m. And our, we, got, we got a number one versus eight matchup. We had a uh, thrilling little, little play in a moment ago. Yep, the, the live stream will not work. That is correct. That is, that is true. So the recording is on. So today's match features the number one seed, Central Park Three. They've been they've been the leaders all year long. They were built to win. Um, and they there was a match just a moment ago between Metro and Riverwalk. Down to the last bowler, uh, Mark Ritchie and uh, Nick and Freshy Zipolata. Uh, Riverwalk 1, 565 to 553. So we are about to get underway here. This is the first of three matches today. We are not, we are recording. We are recording. JJ Kirigny for Riverwalk. Nick Leach for Central Park. Central Park Lanes 3 brought three members onto the squad. Uh, six members onto the, onto the five-man squad this year. Nick Norcross keeping score right now. Uh, the, the Ethernet is not working. We are recording. That, okay. And it will, looks like that might be the case all day. Nick yeah. finds his way through the jungle. Off the left sidewall to the eight-pin eight and a spare. As Leach takes nine in the first. Six on the first ball from Leach, from Carigny. Leach on the three pin, grabs a similar batch. His count and a bonus, 16 to not. An early going, good ball. And J.J. Carigny won the, outrun the bear. Uh, handicap version last week. And whoa, Nick Leach, two spares. To start things off here. For the regular season champs, they're, they're the President's Cup winners, if you follow hockey. JJ just threw a 100 in his, uh, in, in, in the play-in string this morning at nine. Now we have Jeff Bougia. Coming in with that right to left ball, spinning in. Josh Daly, the captain. Clears everything on the right. This is a 5-7 for Bujea. A tricky split, but the wood could bounce, give him the bounce help he needs. Yeah, it just wasn't sunk right through. And Daly takes advantage of his wood, and that's three boxes, three spares for the President's Cup champs. Bujea takes 10 in the first. just on the two pin. Daily thin. Leaves a diamond, but another six fill. Early going here. Bougea will be open in his first trip. The daily blast the diamond for Four boxes, four spares, four. So that's 26. 26 in the ball. So a pair of 19s for the number, number eight. Team that just just played their way in is Ryan Southall. Had a, uh, Bougier, by the way, had a 119. South, Southall had a 110 in the play-in. He played, got, 
right on the head pin. Leaves that tricky little three-way, but nice wood on it. Um, that little, right. little triangle uh, oh, yeah. half Worcester right plus the 10. Right it, Charles Collins. No, 10 stands for South Bethel. Riverwalk still looking for their first spare. That's the first open box for Park, Central Park 3. So 62-48 early going. First of three. This is uh, Friday Night Pro League quarterfinals. Got four matches going on upstairs and downstairs here at Central Park. We are not able to get the Ethernet connected. We are, I mean, it was connected, but uh, not getting the signal that we want. So we're recording. We'll be uploading all these tonight, I hope. Collins with a 5-7, and he'll be open. Good 10. So there you see the score. Sorry, I didn't... Uh, Advance them before. Now we have uh, Justin Waters, our reigning ACST champion. Of course, uh, three of the members, four of the members of Central Park, three um, on the 2022 Academy Lanes champion, world champion team. Waters. Yeah. Oh, no! bombs away for Justin Waters, a strike in the first. A spare for Dean Sullivan. Well, if you just joined us, I'm Bob Lee for the Candlepin Bowling Network. Upstairs on lanes 19 and 20 at Central Park Lanes for the event of the year in the in the uh, Friday Friday Night Pro League. Going for two. Waters. Open. That was six on the fill for Sullivan. He bounces it around and across. Shh. Kicked it in the shins and it stood tall. Okay, that's an eight fill. The Waters. Twenty-seven for Waters. Now the anchor bowlers, Danny Harris. He was the anchor for that great Academy Academy Lanes 2022 World Championship team with Waters. Norcross. <laughs> Rubbing it in. Char Charlie Collins got TikTok working. Probably Paul's got his going too downstairs. All right, Mark Ritchie. And a 113 in, in the in the play in. Starts things off with a spare. She's run up to Aaron St. Cyr at the uh, Tournament Champions. Last month, the lead of lanes. Okay. And she grabs has a spread eagle that breaks down at the elbow on the, on the right-hand side, but 
That'll be a six fill. Open now. Waters tries to play on the inside of the four and two split. It's a little Cleary variant. Or, or I guess it's sort of a Cleary. It's not, it's a uh, half Worcester variant. We can punch the five as well as the uh, corner pin. Oh, tough. A five for Harrison, eight. For Ricci, we'll check on those scores in just a sec. Okay, I hear 113, 107. We've got to check on those officially. 24, 26, 20. Come on, Red, let's go. Come on, Nick. 19 and 19. It's early, it's early. Here's the difference. JJ with an eight. That's the score correction is that JJ had an 18. Now these are official, 113, 107 after the first trip through. Um, two hits though, Nick Leach was one of them there, a seven. Adds to that six, to, to put the lead at 13 as he goes open for the first time. Third ball now in the third. Leach takes nine. When the, when, when the teams are done, when the teams are done, try to get line up team pictures. Okay, both bowlers open. Sorry, we're dealing you know, their staff photographer. As Nick Leach goes to 52. After four, he started with a pair of spares, open a pair of tens here. Second trip through. And JJ collects 10 more. 37 remains open. No marks. Scores of eight, nine, 10, and 10 for him. All right. Josh Daly now. Let's see if we can test our speed gun. On the money, 44. Daly, we dropped down to 43 earlier this season, back to 44. Excitement of the first round of playoffs. By comparison, Jeff Bouget, a very controlled pitch at 31 miles an hour out of the hand. Probably arriving around three miles an hour slower at the head pin. Anyway, that was for Josh. That was a five fill, thirty-one. Jaya connects for his first mark. All right, lead is 16 for the moment. Gonna, gonna go down a sec. Go down a bit with this uh, spare fill from Bergea. Okay, here the correction, Daly's was a six fill earlier, so he's at 40. And he blasts a diamond. That's the second diamond we've seen. Smashed. Ten. 
Bougea. He's at 47 in the fourth. Daly sitting on 50 and a ball. Charles Collins now. Mom rooting him on. He's TikTok live stream running right next to us. All right, the first diamond to hold. Did I, the bowlers have been winning against the diamond up to then. Everything but the head pin falls for Southall. He'll be open in the third. It's the third of the first string of three. That's right. Southall stays perfect with three tens. Southall was in the uh, in that final with J.J. Trini, his teammate, um, at the Outrun the Bear Championship. The, the, more than $2,000 on the line. But that was last weekend, last Saturday. Oh. Tricky. You want to you plow that one pretty square and hope it splashes across. Southall with the bid, no good on the seven pinner. Oh, hey, that was it. He just made the eight nine, but also had a seven back there for a nine. Those are, those are big pins. Southall, 39. Four, and uh, Collins also at 38 through four. My apologies, I'm not moving the, I, I have not been moving the scoreboard up. There's Dean Sullivan and Justin Waters. Sullivan gets a good breakup. The 10 pin falls. Two pinner with wood behind it. It's the two and the four right, right. as Waters misses on the 310 bid. Good. Only question he had there was whether the wood would foul that shot up, but Sullivan makes good. 36 and a ball. Waters prep comes in on the one-two pocket. He's throwing 39 miles an hour. Splits it again. Sullivan by comparison, 35 on that last pitch. Out of the Bushnell speed gun, out of the hand. Waters gonna try to send it. Does, and what a pretty spare that was. So for Dean, that was a five fill. Great ones. Those 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 long splits will, will, are, are well below 10% on conversion rates for pros. Big pick up of two pins directly there plus the fill. Come on, Danny, now let's go. Sullivan takes an eight. Now Harris. With Mark Ricci. Come on. Harris got the one, two, and 
eight pin back there. Just a little too full there. Harris, I guess that was a little too full. Didn't didn't connect on the two pin. Got the one and the eight to fall. Harris throwing 37. Ricci, 33 out of his hand. Uh, yeah. Harris would have been at 24. That was an, a scoring error there. Takes 10 for 34. In the third and a nine for Ricci. He should be at 33. In the third. Oh, bombs away. Mark Ricci. Hello. Like I said, he was throwing 33. That should be 43 for Harris. Look, we're going to check on all our scores. Let's swing you over to... A full view while they switch sides. Okay, and JJ Trigney and Nick Leach now stepping up. Metro written on the top of it. <laughs> of course, that is Riverwalk in the maroon. All Grab apologies. Grab two. No, it is. It is 33 for Danny Harris. So there's been a scoring correction. Seven for Nick Leach in the first here, 59. All right, it over, it over. And the scores for Riverwalk are confirmed. JJ had a tough five Just a second ago. So we have a five pin lead. Academy three, 225 to 220. So, uh, never mind. Yep, okay. Get there. All right. All right, enough, another tough box. A four and an eight. Four for Terigny, a four and a five. Not all sunshine and roses here. This is candle pin bowling. You take your you take your hits. Jeff Bougea. Riverwalk coming off the high of a of a close match with Metro, whose, whose name you saw at the top of the scoreboard. They they came in as, as the tied for ace and had a had a play in at nine nine o'clock. We're now up to uh, ten thirty. Ruggiero with a spare in the fifth. Daly had an eight on his fill, spares again. He's now at 68. And a ball through five.
All right, now lead up to 17 with Daly's fill. They're getting three head. Still has a uh, has two hits now. Riverwalk also has two. You can see those by the little the yellow marks at the top of your at the top of your screen. And now move over to the other scoreboard. Eight on that fill from Bajaya. Daly clears seven. Wow. Half Worcester goes for him. And Daly almost connects. He does. He connects on the five, seven, ten. How about that? Destroyed the pins. 85, 75. Both bowlers on a hit after six. Wake up, everybody. We're here at 10.30 in the morning on a Sunday. Quarterfinals of the Friday Night Pro League playoffs. Bob Lee. And South Hall and Charles Collins. Collins in gray on your left. Bam, spare for Collins, 48 now, his first mark. Southall, who just took a six. Pokes out, saws out the three. That's the uh, three, five, eight that he picked out there. And he almost connected everything collapsed, but the four pin on that. It was like, it was like a strike ball. Collins, who had seven on his fill. Will be open. Collins with a 63-55 lead in that pairing. His team with a 293-268 lead overall. Two hits apiece. One of them coming up next on your left in the hands of Justin Waters. And it's Dean Sullivan who makes a lot out of the two pin there. Down to the nine pin. And Waters finds that pocket and gets a similarly good, similarly good break at the end. It, you know, even though it was about to be a really difficult two and one split. Waters, though, with a seven on that fill. Come on, we'll get that. We'll get that. Now it's a single pinner with Wood just off to the left of the ten. Should it help if he's near it. He doesn't need, he just takes, takes the pin naked. Spare in the fifth. Keep going, Waters, keep going. Another gain there is Sullivan who got a good, got a good bounce. Can't, can't Let's go, Waters. Let's go. get through to the nine pin. Let's go. All right, Sullivan, another great first ball and another difficult wood layout there. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Waters finds strike ball there. Throws that on the spear. 72 through five and 82, plus two balls in the sixth. Back and forth, and Sullivan is foiled again.
No. I think the only, maybe only, only playable wood was that wood on the right angled in. A pair of nines after, after nine drops for Sullivan. Time to go. Waters with a 15 pin lead in that pairing. 44 pins overall for Academy 3. Number one versus eight seed. Going according to, according to the seeding so far in the game. And that one's going. Three pieces of wood. I think they're, I think that one's all good. For Danny Harris. Oh my God. Get there. That's his first spare. 43 now, plus this ball through five. He had been at 33. Richie, whose fill was Seven on, the on, Seven on the strike for Ricci and a 10, so he's at 60. Hey, okay, Waters oh, digs deep for that one. Hello. We've seen a couple of these. these Backward dominoes falling in the, in, the, in the waters in Sullivan. Paired just a minute ago. So eight on the fill and another spare. 61 and a ball now through six. Those Ricci moves, who was, had been filling a strike after four, there's a 10 and a nine, 69. Show the whole scoreboard there. As we check it with our... Okay. Waters' is, score is officially 84. We'll make, make that correction, and it's so it's 360. Did you, sorry. Yep. 312 is confirmed for Riverwalk. JJ's string of tough boxes continues. Great up and coming B bowlers. Trigney showed his his grit at the outrun the bear last last week. Oh. He had a six in the seventh. Finds the finds a the spare there. So. Uh, Nick had a 10 in the seventh, spared in the eighth. Daly on a spare, drops eight more. And adding back to the lead, 93. Jay also on a spare finds only three. Yeah. 
Oh, man. Picking no chances. The lead grows for the President's Cup champions, regular season champions. And the, the team that got their name on the trophy already, Central Park three. Bouget yes, with a huge out now. He's only able to grab five. He's at 83. We'll swap back to the other view. Daly on the head pin. Beauty. Another seven. Puts him to 40 over. 110. Through seven complete now. Bujea has that end. La Nina. Daly squares again. Seven spares out of eight boxes for Daly. Ruj is out ball now for a seven. All right. We're worth the good news this morning. Made it to the party with a. Narrow victory, I believe, by about 12 pins over uh, Metro on the play-in. And here we are at the party, Central Park Lane, saying, this, this is where I'm going to throw my 189s. I don't, no, they, they, say, they, they are taking a dominant lead so far, 72 pins. Three-quarters of the way through the first of three strings. Okay, now it's a big W, big capital W. Left by the 189, Collins pokes a four. Still a bunch out there. He wants, wants to hit the three pin. Gets it. Connects with another four of them. So it's, so it's an eight. No blood on that exchange. 72 pin lead for Academy plus four to, a four to one lead on hanging marks. Southall takes route 39. Back to the curtain. Good spare bids from both bowlers on their object. They're both open. Collins, 80 now through eight. And Ryan Southall, 70 now through eight. But he's got to wonder. Is, <laughs> you'll know by the time this that this uh, recording goes live. But uh, is Central Park Lanes three the, the, the team that was built to uh, win this championship? Team that has uh, the New Hampshire State champion Nick Norcross on the bench, with the sixth man for today's playoffs so far. Can anyone stop them? So Waters on the strike, grab, grabs six with his first ball. And he... Waters 31 over through seven. <laughs> it's 
Sullivan six over through seven. Our 38th box. And Swa Waters connects with another spare. Here in the background, Mark Ricci giving advice to his squad. So two strikes and three spares for Waters through eight. Sullivan at 85. Anchor bowlers now. Danny Harris after a slow start. Two spares in a row. Fills that one with eight. 69. So through six complete. Oh, hello. Great bid, the wall ball. Both bowlers try to get a little more action than they get. Hoping for a little more action than they got. Both of them were shooting at the uh, at the uh, two pin. Sent it nicely into the wall and didn't get anything to connect. All right, that's the five and nine. Harris wants to hit that one and not worry about it. He just does it. He, you know, didn't want to touch that wood. Wood was dangerous. So three spares in the lake going here. The last four. Richie for a 10, takes it, checks in for 88. You can see the whole scoreboard there. And we'll check those for accuracy while you, you watch the bowlers switch sides. Scores for Riverwalk, 62, 90, 70, 85, 88. Those are confirmed. Four marks for Central Park. 87, 120, 80. The, uh, Charles Collins is the only one without a mark. At the nine, 111 and 89. They are all confirmed. They're all confirmed, yes. A nine for Trigny and a 10 for Leach. Six on the fill for Leach. Catching up on Trigny's 
Trigney also had a six fill there. As he spares his way in the second. He now stands at 87 in a ball. We'll get an 11th rack. Running solo. All right, that was a 9 and a 112. Trigny had three really tough boxes earlier, comes back with a couple marks, fights his way back to a 93. Yep. Yep. All scores have been confirmed to the moment. A 86 pin lead stands, plus three hits for Academy Three. Jeff Pajaya now on your right, lane 20. Jay, a great, just absolutely beautiful reverse ball for a guy throwing 31 miles an hour. Gets a tremendous amount of action. Which you need if you're if you're not if you're not going to throw up near the, the uh, Friday Pro League averages of 35, 36. Got to have some action. And Daly. Nine on his fill. So 129 through eight complete now at 139 in the ninth. Composure. <clears throat> Missed the head pin. Sawed out the three pins in the in the middle of the the two five nine. And well, he's open. Only the second box open for Daly in the set. Jay will take a 110. And 152 for Jay. They're going to check on that. And Daly left two pins standing with an eight in the third. Otherwise, that was a perfect game. He had uh, eight spares, eight spares, a ten and an eight. A 152 for Josh Daly. Ho, oh, you're getting used to it if you've been watching the, the network lately. He's, he's been tremendous. Of course, feeds on the tremendous quality here on, on his team. 10 for Southall. Collins have been the only bowler open after in the eighth. There were four, four marks on the board for Central Park three. Getting some cheers and jeers from his teammates now. As his team leads by 95, plus two hits. There's a spare for Southall. He'll get an 11th rack and a chance at 100. Oh, 
Okay, Collins back on his, found the inside pocket. And half Worcester. Makes a nine out of it. 96. South on me. All right, can't get to 100, but he does uh, clip Collins by one. The 97, game one. No scores confirmed. Lead now 87 for Academy three. And the first of, is the first of the three strings comes to a close. Dean Sullivan now 85 through eight. This first ball in the ninth. Finds it just a tad full. Splits them up. Two and one, four, seven. And that's the six. Waters poke six, misses the head pin. Oh, plays outside on the, a good choice here at Central to play outside. Some houses you want to hit that, that one thin in the pocket, others outside the four horsemen. Depending, depending on the way your ball moves. Team now at 94. Waters at 127. It's the last box in the first string. The number four bowlers. There you go. Go get that. Okay, a diamond in one for Solon, a triangle. Triangle two for Waters. That's what we're calling it. The triangle two, whatever the front pin is, is the is the nameplate. Saw the lift on that ball down toward the target, but uh, beautiful hit. I guess a little full. Sullivan with that eight finishes it at 102. And Waters a 137. Great gain in that pairing. 35 pins. 96 overall for Academy 3. Now our anchor bowlers, Danny Harris and Mark Ricci. That's nice. <laughs> our staff photographer snapping, snapping good action photos here. Okay, that is five on Harris's fill ball. Okay, one, four, seven, six, ten. Goes for a bunch, he gets one. <laughs> Say the same, Harris. A pair of sixes there. I was going to say this is Candlepin Bowling at its finest. It's also Candlepin Bowling at its most challenging. Central Park lanes, upstairs, lanes 19 and 20. Great, great place to splash and split pins. Ricci hoping that one's connected. I think wants to hit, play it toward the middle or the left side. No, he, he pounds it over, though. It was connected. Nice spare there. 104. Good job up there. Harris's final ball of the first. Left. He'll take nine and a 109.
So Riverwalk was able to take two of the pairings, it looks like. As Ricci goes to 110. Check on those for the front official scores. That's what I see. Looked like a 606 512. Is that? Yep, those scores are confirmed. 606 to 512. Academy 3 putting the hurt on. Actually, pretty normal performance for Academy 3 this year. 600 has been, you know, with, 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 with six of the, of, the, of the best in the league. Swapping in and out. Oh my God. Oh my God! And it's a strike to start things off in the second. Oh my God! For Nick Leach. Put the two up there, even though that we're not going by official Friday. The only, the only thing that matters is the total score here today, but. We'll, the first game would have gone to a category 3, 606 to 512. So Leach takes an early advantage in string two. Nick, who had a 112 in the first. His second ball on the fill. 19 through one. Spare Trigney. So we'll show the early 10 pin lead in the second, but the number that counts here in the quarterfinals, total pins only, a 104 pin lead for Academy 3 after a 606 to 512 opener. Daly, who had eight marks, an eight and a 10, and a 152. Sets a diamond for himself for the first ball. Bougea through a 110. Nope. A little bit thin. Sent a piece off onto the left wall and it didn't come back. Wow. Bougea made the uh, five and dime but left the Two and four on that triangle in one. Daly, booming strike. He was timed at 44 miles an hour earlier today. And that looked right around there to me. Um, identical leave, really, with a little piece of wood in the back for Bugea. Oh, last time he last time he poked out the five and managed to get the five and ten, and this time he goes the other way and gets the gets the two and four. See if he can do it again for a ten. These are really difficult. I, the angles are terrible. I'd, I'd like to get a protractor down there and find out what that angle is, but it's a long shot. 
Daly in that uh, 152 game he did did uh, clear a oh, five, seven, and ten. And there was one piece of wood near the ten, I think. It wasn't wasn't a big part of that of that conversion. Charles Collins digs in. Gets late action on the three and eight. Spare for Collins. Ten, Ryan Southall. Southall took the uh, edge in a pillow fight, ninety-seven to ninety-six in this matchup in the first game. Takes a six fill here. I'm sorry, seven fill for Collins, seven fill for Collins. And a spare. Twenty-seven through two. Southall waiting for the balls to come back. Finds the one he likes. South Hall, 38 mile an hour pitch there. Got everything he wanted but the 10. Still waiting for balls. I, I think that's uh, Mike Vazello has gone back to see what's going on. Here comes one. There's probably a pile of them stuck in the corner somewhere. You joined us in the middle. Academy three with a 100 pin lead plus now. We're at Central Park Lanes, it's now 113. Early going in the second string. It's the first time through for our fourth bowlers, Justin Waters. Through a 137 in string one. And a couple strikes there, almost a, another here. Down to the six pin. It looks like it's out of the way. Now just, just in a place where it could help if you miss left. Which he does. I don't think he was aiming there, but he, he hit it. He was, he was, it was a miss left shot. <laughs> Beautiful spare. I, I think if Greg is doing it, he's doing it with, with his data, too. But. Okay, how about that nine? Wow. Good morning. Five fell late there. Lee grows. Central Park three. Oh. This is a... This is a juggernaut squad here. Six oh six in the first. Oh, 
already at 105 after eight boxes with three fills to go. That's a that's a three for Dean Sullivan. Nice ball from Richie. Spare. Harris. Nope, nope. Troubling. Wood. It looked like it had a it had the tail covering the t the ten pin, but as he struck it, it jerked to the left and left the 10 pin standing and he picked it up for a 10. Harris, beautiful ball. Dreadful looking, spare lead, but a good fill. And a strike for Ricci. The six was the last to fall on that streak. Wasn't there. Okay, 27 for Harris. 20 and two balls for Ricci. Bowlers change side. I'll show you the full scoreboard. Check on those to see if those are the official numbers. Like a fucking second circumcision. JJ light fill on his spare from the second 23 now diamond in one Four horsemen for the spare. Head pin stands. The leash with a, that piece is out near the plate. Should be out of play. Goes Holy back. Father. Trips Holy it. Father. Beautiful spare there. That was a nine for Leash, 40. He stands at 40. And the lead overall, 135. Daly had a six fill on his spare. Oh. Can't make the two pair fall. But he gets a 10. Come on now. 
Riley up to 188 through 13 boxes. The score here 36 after a 152. Great ball, no love. Okay. Right, five seven spare bid. Five goes back. Doesn't rebound off the curtain. That might have been the only way that one was coming. Daly uh, was two pins, shy of a perfect game in that 152 first. Eight spares, a 10 and an eight. Leaves one up there with a nine. Ryan Southall takes care of business, but for the four. Collins on the spare takes nine. Okay, another pick up there. Fill for five. Oh, sorry. Two pins fall late. It's a seven, 53. Ball's got to come out. Mark Ritchie throws his ball at Collins. Take that 10 pin. And <laughs> Collins takes 10. He's at 63. Dean Sullivan to recover from the three box. Will be open in the third. Waters. Put three on the stair. Made the four horsemen. Two for Waters. Lead now 168. Grown 
by leaps and bounds here through the first two strings after a 6 0 6 5 12 first string. Oh, yeah. The team that was built for this, Central Park 3. Now, the bowlers contending with a couple splits. This is a 6 7 for Sullivan and a 4 7 10 for Waters. Sullivan may try to poke that one. He does. Yeah, might have been, didn't get any rebound action, if that's what he was looking for. All right, grab it two. And grab Waters two. pushes Wood back to the curtain. There you go. 51 to four. Three, four for Waters. Anchor bowlers Mark Ricci and Danny Harris. Come on, Danny, let's go. Four on the fill for. No, Ricci has another oh, another fill ball coming. He has a strike. Makes the spare. Right, so after biting off nine of the pins, Danny Harris has a chance to get a few of them back. With him. After the nine drop spare in the third. Oh, what a ball. Sweet ball. Right, right on the one three. Reach can't pick anything up off the split. Anything but the two pins he hit. Pair of tens from the anchors, 56 through four for Harris, 49-265 are confirmed. Academy three with a 73 pin lead in the string. More importantly, 167 in the in the pins. It's the quarterfinals. One versus eight matchup. In the Friday night pro league. Central three. Jesus Christ. Oh, I just realized that. <laughs> I just realized that too. We've had the wrong name up. We used our old scoreboard. That was Central three. Of course, we've been saying it right, I think. Except when we're reading it. <laughs> oh. Eight fill for Leach. And a 10 for each bowler. So we have the scores right. Didn't have the names of the teams right at the top. Central Park 3. Academy 3, the team that won two years ago. Uh, team has since been broken up. 
spare for Leach in the sixth, 76. My apologies. Using the Greg Guyar score sheet, don't always fill in all the boxes. Didn't, never changed the name of the teams at the top. Originally said it was Academy 3 versus Metro. Hey, here's the destroyer, Josh Daly. Good. Rare open box. In the fourth, Jeff Bougea. Uh, the four horsemen for his mark. Daily connects. Back on the spare train. Nice guy. Decent bit at the three for takes two of them that's a nine all right daily through a 152 this is the head pin there but gets six out of the back Winners will move on to the semifinals. Right. Daly hits the pocket but can't connect. And that Bougea, I was going to say, his, is, his looks better suited. Didn't have any, any split, split leaves. Bougea does make the... the Granny's teeth. Lead still hanging around 182 at the moment. One hit on each side. You can see by the yellow marks. Pair of splits, a diamond and one for Southall of 7-10 for Collins. Looks like the tip of that piece might have might have made something else happen, but no guarantees. Southall plays a sweeper, it's deep. Central three with a commanding lead. At the halfway point here. Headed to an 1800 or thereabouts after a 606-512 victory. 329 to 240 here in the second so far. No love for Ryan. He wanted to hit it high. He hit it high. Just didn't work. Basically, I'd be like fourth, 
You know, Waters and Sullivan, so we're just <laughs> looking over our shoulder, noticed that it, it, uh, Central 3 had been, was, was playing under the Academy 3 banner on our scoreboard. And of course, not true. Oh, hello. Nice eight drop. Couple pieces playing, playing games with him though. Sullivan. A little thin on it, but not sure it deserved that. That's the uh, half Worcester plus the 10. Waters, a nice full ball on that front pin. Get, gets it to connect through on the two pinner. Great job on the half Worcester. How do you, how do you get them all to connect? I don't know. <laughs> Off the wall, maybe. You have, to have, you have to manage both the nine and ten if you do it off the wall. So it's tough. It's really tough. Let's go, Justin. Third nine. Three, five now for Sullivan. At the three box earlier today, earlier in the string. Classic setback leave. Warner, 68. Little chance, but I, I think he was playing for the tip. If he, if he nabbed that tip, it could have shot the ball around, but it was a long shot. Sullivan finds his spot, but Ten pin stands. Ten up there. All right, seventy-eight forty-eight in that pair. For the string, they're at uh, two fifteen to one fifty on the day, and here's. Danny Harris leading Mark Ricci, 56 to 49. And then some a sp strike. The captain's somewhere else. About time you threw one. Team gives Harris guff for that being his first. And Mark Ricci. On the banana split, try to try to play that wood way off on the right tip, and missed right. Plays it more safely for the two, and that's an eight. So Harris nine on the strike fill. That's for ten. Switch their sides. We'll check our scores. Seventy-six, seventy-three, eighty-three, seventy-eight, eighty-five. That checks out. Central three.
scores of 60, 54, 57, 48, and 67. All confirmed. J.J. Terigny starts things off yeah. in the seventh. As Nick Leach fills with seven. Nine drop for Terigny, though. And Leach just a bit right. Match. There you go. Three, three, three times through the order. Six of their of their boxes each. Nick Leach now, first bowler past the century mark at 103. Jeff Bougia on a spare, gets a wiggle out of the six pin. That's going to be a six drop. Daly, after incredibly precise, powerful bowling, takes a couple pins. Just a couple misses here. There you go. First ball in the eighth. We are in the second of three strings here. Quarterfinals action. Gia hits the left side of the two pin there. It's the two five nine. Looks like the ball jumped left of that triangle. Daly's first ball in the ace now. All right, back on target, two full. Jay gets four horsemen, but leaves two of the three pins on the left. Another mini pickup for uh, Riverwalk. Ryan Southall vaporizes the pins. Ten forty five to eight fifty through this ball.
Right, South Hall with a chance to double here. Great ball. No luck there. Four, four nine left. Good, good fill though. Collins breaks his up. Collins has a clean view of the pins. He could play that piece, but I don't think that's in his, in his repertoire. Probably three or four feet off. It wasn't worth, even though it was aimed, aimed right at it. Eighty-six through eight. Ryan of Riverwalk and Charlie. Charlie's up to the century mark. Number four bowlers now. Sullivan on your right. In maroon. Three-step approach, crosses over nicely. Nine drop to the six pin. Waters, one, two, three. Big steps. Classic approach for Waters. It's that ball. 180 over, over his backside. Sullivan wide right on the spare bid. This is the one, two, nine, ten. Oh. One is gone. <laughs> and that'll be an eight for Waters. Eighty six through seven. Back starts with a big towards his left foot. A large, two big steps after that. His, his first, his first step is large. His second two are extra large, and he covers about 15 feet in his delivery. Waters blast. That was the 410. Lead now 193 plus that ball. Waters is the only hanging spare right now. He's the number five anchor bowlers, Mark Rishi and Danny Harris. Okay, wild pitch there. He shakes his head. His eyeballs move left and right, and he goes, uh -oh. okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. It's going to go right now. Reach it now. Square in the heart. Harris. Oh my God. I guess a little bit too full. I mean, what do you what do you say about that? It's central. The four horsemen in central are harder harder to get than in other houses, in my experience. All right. One pin pick up there. Ten to nine for Harris. Hello. 
Oh. Yeah. Give it a ride, kid. Give it a ride. All right, another setback. This one with the wood in front of the pair. Rishi plays through the hole. I think he was going for a fine shot on the edge there. Oh. Likewise for Harris, who had a his version of a the six pin and the seven pin with wood out in front. He, that's what he was trying for. Well, pair of nines. So far, it's been all Central Park three. Lead by 100 in the string, 194 in the match. It is 1099 to 905. And we're going to check to make sure that's right. Four. Guys, that 800 already? <laughs> Four ninety three is confirmed for Central. That's because he has a gray shirt. He's getting breaks now. They all do. It's at home. And I think we have a I think there is I think there's a correction on Riverwalk. with a spare we'll mark that and then uh, yeah JJ had been at 88 going into that that's where the error was he's now at 98 the other scores are all confirmed so it was a 401. JJ had a seven fill and a ten. For one fifteen. And uh Nick Leach finished with a one thirty one. Yep. That's confirmed. Yep. Leave the full scores up on the board while the bowlers finish the ninth and tenth. We had a score correction there on JJ Chirigny. Oh my God. That's a spare for Daly. Picks this ten up. Daily. Yeah, there's nine more. All right. 
Odd looking piece of wood, but uh, everything's good up to the ribbon. Oh, tips it. It was good. Sweep spare there, 119 and the ball into the 11th rack. for Virginia, 95. So Daly now sitting at 271 after the 152 through for the day. One more ball, fills six more. A 125. A 277, only to 123 for a 400. And Jeff Bouget is 95, is confirmed. Third bowlers now on your list down there in the middle. Charles Collins at 100 through 8. Has a check mark, and now Ryan Southall. Good looking ball. Southall, 37 and 38 miles an hour all day. That one was 37 on the spare. There, that's just a that was a fill ball too. Collins finds himself in the same position as Daly. and a ball through 10. Southall finishes up with a 107. It's a strike on spare, 120, 129. Collins at 225 after the 96 first string. Southall at 204 after 97 and that 107. You just saw here with Waters through a 137 in the first at 96 and this ball. Good side action. T-bone in front of the 10, ten pin, however. Caps the piece. He talked to his teammates. He, the consensus was cap it. Waters get, executes perfectly. This pair for Sullivan. Pumps his fist for after that one. A little bit of mock joy. Now 
Waters. Okay, no 11th rack for, for him. Sullivan will, though. That yeah, helps. If you're struggling early in the string. And with that pick, he passes his teammate, Charles Collins. The 130. They always keep track of who's, who's got the edge over each other. Good competition. Makes for a good team. Daly 125, Collins 129, Waters 130. And Dean with three on that fill. We'll double check the score. Yeah. Was it, it's confirmed at a 96. Oh, Danny. 93. 96. Yep. Harris for spare. No, oh, what? Oh. What up? Wow. What's that? Oh, no. There was wood back there, and it just clambered through. Both bowlers open. Central three now, 618 and one more box. Five. After winning the first string, 606 to 512. They're gonna do even more, even better here. This juggernaut rolling through on their way, they hope, to the finals. They were the President's Cup champs. Won the regular season, clinched with two weeks to play. And final boxes, a nine for Harris. He finishes at 112. 10 for Ricci, 104. I have a final score uh, unofficially of 627-517, is that? The 104 is confirmed. That checks. And six, oh, 637. All right, I'm missing. Oh, Harris had a 122? Okay, I had him at 112 for some reason, okay. Well, there, there's your difference. Danny Harris now with 122 is up to 231 on the day. And the, the official final, we've confirmed. Okay, thumbs up from everybody. That is a 214 pin lead through two. Third, third string underway. Jay Trigney and Nick Leach. Getting things moving here. Twelve forty-three to ten twenty-nine, a two hundred fourteen pin lead. Add two to that. Leach starts with a ten. JJ with an eight. And we've seen 200 pin leads go before, at least we've heard about it. 
on the Candlepin Bowling Network, but uh, not to a team like this. Not to a team like Central Park Lanes 3. Rachel laughing as he's denied the spare on the four horsemen. Struck just about perfectly. Third and final string underway now. Pride and Honor on the on the line. It's been a great season for Rip Riverwalk. They they struggled early, and this is a really real building year for them. You see, you see the likes of Ryan Southall and uh, JJ Terigny making their way up from the uh, ACST Bs into the, into the Friday Pro League. Great futures, great hard balls. Jeff J holding things together with uh, Mark Rishi, the veteran bowlers. And uh, of course, speaking of veterans, Dean Sullivan. How about that for a spare there? There and the two and three split. Virginia. Josh sure would love a 400 today. Started with a 152, 125 in his second. Needs a 123 here. Begins the match with a, begins the third with a spare. spare. Bujaya pokes four out from the right side. Josh Daly taking his time, thinking about thinking about that lead. There's f five pieces, four pieces, including the one in the channel. Played on the left side of the one in front of the four seven and got it to swing across, but weird, oddly, the seven stood. Great playmaking there. Takes an early 27 to 23 lead after two with Fugia. Charles Collins, it's a big right to left swinging pitch. The five is the last to fall on a ball, on a swipe from behind. Southall takes six. Nice ball, tough leave. Double strike bid just. About an inch from connecting. Oh, Southall finds the 5 9 10. That was well executed. And a spare on strike. Collins 30 in a ball. His team up 20 in the early going, 76 to 56. Each team with a spare hanging, the ones you just saw. Dean Sullivan now finds his spot. Oh, beauty. I think the five was the last to fall. There's a lot of things falling at the same time there. Beautiful strike for Sullivan. And almost a match. So the pin weave between 
the six and the nine, the only two that stood. Hesper for Waters. Earlier today, Waters threw 137-130. He's on his way to He'll need a 33 on this one to get the 400. Five. That's a five. And a golf pro at a Marble Country Club. Nothing wrong with that pitch except the leaves. Three and two split. Sullivan for 10 makes it. Sullivan picks up four in that. Voyage to the Leads those stands at 2.30. Going to need a lot more than that. Please no, no flash. We just have a little flash on our right. Beautiful ball. What a spare for Ricci. He had the side saddle triangle and the 10. Oh. Danny plays the wood and oh, for a 10. Wood falls for Harris, and he yeah. splashes it down and resets. Actually, so some some purpose in that. You want to get some pins back into the uh, system so that you can get the reset to work. Now Rishi, after that fine pickup with a spare bid on the thin side of the one. Three pocket, grabs a diamond, six. There you go, go on out. So our first two diamonds cut. And, uh, I think that's been, that's now the third in a row that's been missed. Nice triangle. Conversion, spare for Harris. Right, will the bowlers switch sides? We'll put the totals up and check against the official scores. Scores are confirmed. So we have a uh, 120 to 109. 120 to 109. You have 121. Nick, 19, 27, 30. That's 20. That's 20 for Nick. Okay. Scores now have been confirmed. Is 
That's a nine for Liege, a seven for Terigny. Pins falling late. Not a bad setup if you have to have set something up on the 5-10. Those two pieces will sweep right if you can hit them the right the way. Hit them the right way. JJ doesn't have a ball. JJ looked like he played a little played on the right side of that bundle. The bowlers take a pair of tens. Oh, nice shot, Josh. Waiting for a lane reset on 20. A recap where the bowlers are through. You can see them on, on, on your screen. Charles Collins, the leader with at 30 plus a ball. Danny Harris at 20 and a ball. Perfect in their first two. Nick Norcross, the sixth man for the Central Park Three team, goes back with Michael Bozella. They say it should reset now. Josh hits the button, and we're still waiting for it. Nope. So Mike's going to take a second look at what's going on back there. Show you the totals for the day through two strings. We're recording. This is live. So TikTok is live. But you guys are just recording. So I can't get the Ethernet won't work today for some reason. Lamoni looked at it and said, All right, there's, there's still trouble on 20. We are recording. I was uh, just having a conversation with one of the bowlers. About our, uh, we, we connected the Ethernet. We have Cat Six cords. We have a, a connector. Cannot get any any resonance. The Wi-Fi test all all runs south. Looks like the rain has stopped, but this is a delay here. Nick, you want to help Ace? Ace has got it. Are you sure? He's got one hand. What, what happened to his hand? We are paused for a lane delay. Lane 20 will not reset. Another pin falls down on the seven hole. He's only got one hand. 
There you see his feet parking down. A few pins up on top of the rack, I guess. Here comes the sweeper. He hops. Catches his left foot on it. This is a lane delay on 20. Lots of pins. Flowing through, you can see you can see the <laughs> the elevator's working. However, seeing that many pins fall, this <laughs> while he's trying to while he's trying to load up the cones, I uh, I'm worried. Oh, nice. That's, that's beautiful. I'm looking at a photograph. Of, um, I, I'm actually talking on the. <laughs> looking at photos from our, uh, our photographer, Alicia. Mike was, was all, no, I don't, I don't think. It's, it's fixing easily. Oh, boy. See the rack fall down onto the sweeper. No pins in it. It's got to put everything back on its belts and chains. The sweeper flows. The rack comes down along with an 11th pin. No, no, that was the head pin. Just go set it up by hand. All right, he kicks. Fix the pins through and pushes reset again. Something else. Right? We're hearing we're hearing from owner and proprietor Mark Ricci. Sweep is good. And here comes the rack. Ten pins are standing. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that repair. Now Josh Daly, when we last left our match, Central Park 3 leads 140 to 126 here in string 3, 1383 to 1155 on the day, a 228 pin lead with uh, Eight to play for four of the bowlers. Daly clears eight down to the two and four. Good ball there. He's unaffected by the delay. Well, maybe even a strike if he had, if he'd been affected, possibly. So 37 through three. Those of you watching this recorded version can just, of course, fast forward through that lane delay. Ruggia takes a nine, 32. Okay, setback, seven on the fill though. Bear that never goes, plays it full. Get there. I think he wanted to hit that one lower on the wood that on the sweeper piece that was gonna by lower we mean lower on the pin toward the back of the deck. That was a ten. And Fifty-four through four. 
eight and 40 through four for Bujayev. All right, spares hanging for both Collins and Southall. Collins on your left, on, on your right. He scores on your left. Great, great energy on that piece. Take, turns an N-shaped lead into a nine drop. Oh, still there. South Hall cleared four. Still open with three more. That's a 10. Twenty-eight. Two three for South Hall. Collins, 40 miles an hour on that pitch. Strike and the uh, four pin was the last to fall from my view. Quarter Worcester. Southall misses right with a second. Still has the uh, Five pins standing, and how about that? What a pretty pickup. That was the, that was the spread eagle plus the, the two pin. He, he made it. Four in a row, let's go. Four in a row. I know. That was a great ball. Huge. Collins leaves four horses. And then Dean leaves just the six, six pin. See a little extra space there between the one and the three for some reason. <laughs> Waters hit that space. Let's spread the pins out and it so often happens, the, the 10 pin stands. Watch how I did that, JJ. But I want my revenge again, please. Okay, Waters. 2-8. All right, no wood, but a good, good fill. Five and dime remaining. Waters plays the left side of the head pin where he wanted it, but uh, punched the 1-9. Oh, sweet pickup, what a pair of spares for the master, Dean Sullivan. And here's the captain, give him a fist bump, say, that was pretty sexy, sir. And it was. If you like bowling, that was good stuff. That was two beauties. Five and ten, no wood especially. All right, there you go. There's Danny Harris filling with two. Oh. And almost connecting. Well, with wood it goes. Thank you. Richie's bid at the four horses. Left. Maybe 
nice. Reed's still, still standing at 238 for Central Park 3. They want to keep themselves warm without wearing out. It's a final tour for the ages for the Riverwalk team. We'll see more of them next year. If they told them they would uh, finish in the playoffs they would have, at the beginning of the season, they would have been really thrilled. And it was a thriller coming down to the last two boxes against Metro here in the eight versus nine playoff. Pair of nines. And they'll switch sides. 42 through four for Ricci. And 40. Danny Harris. Three nine fifty four fifty nine forty two forty thirty four forty thirty eight Nick, we're at two ten. Yep, and those two ten is confirmed, two thirty four is confirmed. We're ready for the third time through. JJ Terigny pulls it. Nick Leaf leaves it open. Second ball on the right side. Still clean up on 20. Nick oh, Leaf connects on the Kaliri with a little help from Wood. Grows to 240 plus the next ball. Nick's trying to decide what to do with that piece of wood hanging. Mark Ritchie decides to take care of it himself. Right where the sweeper would have come down and jammed on it. Here comes the reset for 19 and JJ Terigny. Throw his first ball in the sixth. This is a 26 of 30. Into the ceremonial part of the quarterfinals. Wow. Central Park Lanes has taken care of business just like Nick Leach took care of that strike. On a spare. 69. And a 9.51. For JJ. All those are side pools for 69s. Jumping for joy now. Jeff Bougea. 40 through 4. His first delivery. That one got out a little in front of him somehow. Never connected. Oh, thank God he carried Daly with a similar ball. About 14 miles an hour faster. <laughs> oh. Okay. Para eights from the number two bowlers. That was a 62 half for Daly. And a 48 for Bouger. Boom, right on the pocket. And you hear him say, really? Seven, nine, ten. Ick. Daly cleans this ball with a towel. 4 step approach onto oh the. My God. It was about oh to be a lemon God. drop, but it 
improved. Puget slams the 9-10 home. Nothing, nothing across for the seven. Good, good enough looking leave. Anything on the right side of that head pin will probably go. A little far right on that. Bugia takes 10, 58 through six. Bailey 72 through six. For Central, another two boxes are down and the lead stays at 250, 251 at the moment, plus a strike and a spare. Riverwalk with one spare. Riverwalk would have raced Metro in a sudden death, seasonally speaking, a, a winner take all. String a south all. Whoa, that was like a double setback shot. He posed this beautiful shot for Ryan. One of the spares of the day. And a beauty there. Yeah, Collins would be working on a strike. And 79 through five. Fills with five. I tried to get it to wiggle off with this stand on the surfboard. Oh, off the surfboard. I was trying to get it to hit it. Oh, I was throwing the dick at it. Here for South Oh, Six fill. Six fill for South Hall. Ten for seventy-four. He's at 64 through six. Josh was at 350, four boxes left. I'm at 309. They probably just dodged. Fair for Waters, and a 10 for Sul Sullivan. Fill for Waters. And the 54. Sullivan had actually six on that fill. It was at 72. Playing out the strings here. Number four bowlers take a pair of nines. 63 to for Waters, 81 for Sullivan.
Well, he's going to need a couple marks for uh, get himself up to his 133 for a 400, if that's in the cards today. Danny Harris, Mark Ricci. Ricci at 42 through four. Finds the pocket, but doesn't take the three-pinner. This for 10, 52. Generous eight leave after missing left. Harris, a nice nine drop. Spare bit, good. down to uh, as the bowlers switch sides show you the scores confirm them 355 355 thumbs up and we're seeing 316 for Riverwalk and see scores of 51 58 64 81 and 62 those all check it's a, so it's a 355 does 316 39 pin lead in string three, 253 for the day. And well, it's not a, technically impossible, it's virtually impossible. Yeah. Bull, the Bulls want to finish out, stay loose, not develop any bad habits through central, through central three in, in particular. Here's a 10 for Leach. on the fill and now it had a 10 for 88. Beauty spare there. And a ball confirmed. We'll switch over to the other view. So Josh Daly, 12 over, needs to get to 23 over. Get to 400. Starts with a small first step. The lefty starts with his left and has a uh, four step approach. Three pin, got it. If, if he touched it, it was gone and you saw it. And a nine for Pujaya.
Right, like I said, Daly 12 over, needs to get to 23 over. Let's see if he goes. Yeah, nine helps. We'll need one more mark. That pin would do it, probably. The 400. Great try. Okay. We'll need one in the ninth or tenth. The decent fill. Daly goes to 101 through 8. Bouget at 75. That puts him, that puts Daly at uh, 378 for the day. He needs 22 in his last two. Here's Collins. Collins comes in with a 96, a 129. Now 33 over, 93 through six, as he blasts a strike in the seventh. And a spare for South Hall. Collins heating up after that early 96. open in the eighth as they trade barbs. Collins now 119. And the lead's up to 274. Hingham, Hingham bowlers look like they've clinched. Chris Jones, John Winchell, they're, they're getting ready for their next match here. Waters and Sullivan had both, both open in the sixth. And a 6 7. As Waters takes aim is it at the Cleary, grabs the middle, middle two plus the sleeper. Sullivan has made some beauties, does it? He connects it, he plays the inside. Wood. Some, some fine spares from Dean Sullivan in this final string. Fill ball, saw that ball hop in. It does that, gets extra work out of the back though. A seven fill, 98. Yeah, what a pickup. Spare on the, that was the two, four, seven, ten, I believe back there. And good, good googly moogly. Pair of spares there. Those were fantastic. You know, the match match here is virtually on ice. The lead is now 266 with uh, 12 boxes to play. 
but the clinic is, is open. And those were clinic spares there. All right, four on the fill for Harris, eight on the fill for uh, Ricci. Almost connected on that spare, spread eagle variant. Ricci does. For Ten. And he's already thrown his second ball. Mark, Mark didn't notice. I, I don't know if I saw it. I saw his body language on it. And that's a nine for Harris. Wants to get on to the next round. We had lane delays here. As the bowlers switch sides. One last time. I'll show you the uh, total scores. Uh, I'm missing three pins. Charles Collins at 122. There's a score correction on that. And the 480 is confirmed. And 431. Wow. That's a full horseman. It does go. You made it. It does go. You guys were lying the whole time. So we haven't hit it here all season. Oh, all right. It's true. It's true. It, it's true. Leave us oh. ten ah. Trying to catch up on the official scores there. That ends up being a uh, 114 as, as he finishes with a seven box after the three fill. And JJ, who had a couple of spares there. Outstanding <laughs> work. A couple of spares there, and he ends up at uh, 105 with that with that fill. Never mind the details on that. Josh Daly. Okay. All right, one more. Nine drop. Yep. The wood appears to be connected for Daly. Needs 22 in these last two. Daly with his lefty with a starts with his right foot back on the linoleum past the lane. After a mini step, no, on it then on the left side of the of the mark of the ribbon. And that'll be a nine. Oh, 
Serginho. Took eight and was at, is at 83. Bailey. All right, he'll need. Be good if that connects. It does. It, it won't. Weirdly, the head pin leans and stands. All right. I think if he touches it, it's gone. But it won't go, and it'll be a 390 something. Pair of tens there. You know, 120 for Daly. Puts him at 347 for the day. We'll show you the, the totals down here. Three ninety-seven. There's a three fifty-seven for Leach. Three thirteen for Trigny. Two ninety-eight for Vijaya. Three ninety-eight. Collins making the strong strong run here at the end. Good fall there, 131 through nine. For Collins, love to bring that up. Make sure the official scorer, Nick Norcross, stays on, stays on the bench. You're allowed to substitute once in this playoffs. That'll be a nine and a 140. And a 9-107. Ryan Southall. And on the day, that is a uh, 365 for Collins, 311 for Southall. Lead now up to 260. 247. Dean Sullivan having a heck of a heck of an exhibition here. There's another spare. 136 and a ball. Nine. Because he filled with nine. And Waters who had a nine drop. It's a 91. Spares. He's at 101 through nine with a fill coming. Right, and that'll just be five on the fill there. is going to stand out of reach. A 149 unofficially for, for Sullivan and a 115.
Here. Just put that under. Stand on that. <laughs> So that'll be an eight. Harris took a foul, a seven. Is an eight box? Okay. So, okay. We'll call that a 94. Officially calling that a 94 finish for uh, Harris. And for a 105. Officially, Ricci, something happened there I didn't quite understand. Having to do with uh, shaking hands. <laughs> anyway, congratulations, Central Three, dominant in their performance. Final final string, 583 to 559. Total, 1826 to 1588. Um, in in the end, it was a th uh, we'll we'll scan down. You see that those are the bowlers' totals. Big, big numbers, 397 for Josh Daly, 382 for Justin Waters, 357, Nick Leach, 365 for Charlie Collins, and 325. So we're going to see you back. Hope to get things going later for the Canopin Bowling Network. Central Park Lanes, Bob Lee.